moment, we are witnessing the offloading of the coronavirus vaccine or the Sinovac from the airplane. At this juncture, may we invite the President to inspect the COVID-19 vaccines. May we also invite His Excellency Wang Xiaolian, Francisco, Secretary Francisco T. Duque, Secretary Carlito G. Galvez Jr., and Senator Christopher Lawrence Go. join everyone to take their seats. Please be informed that offloading of the vaccines shall continue while the program is ongoing. A pleasant afternoon to all. Our event today is to join the President in witnessing the arrival of the CoronaVac, Sinovac vaccines in the country. May we call on... Executive Secretary Salvador Vidalia. Kindly sit down. I'm sorry. Foreign Affairs Secretary Teodoro Luxin Jr., the People's Republic of China Ambassador to the Philippines, His Excellency Huang Xilian, National Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, Health Secretary Francisco Doque, Cabinet Secretary Carlo Nograles, Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugadi and the other members of the Cabinet, the National Task Force Chief Implementer and Vaccine Czar Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr., National Task Force Deputy Chief Implementer Secretary Vicencio Dizon, Senate Committee on Health and Demography, Chairman Senator Bongo, AAP Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Serlito Subihana, and the other members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, PNP Chief General, Police General Devol Sinas, and the other members of the Philippine National Police, commanding Philippine Commanding General, Lieutenant General Jose Faustino, Philippine Air Force General, Lieutenant General Allen Paredes, Philippine Navy Flag Officer in Command, Admiral Giovanni Carlo Bacorde, Bacordo, sorry, Philippine Marine Corps Commandant General Ariel Capulitan, PCG Commandant General George Orsabio Jr., mga kasama ko sa gobyerno, mga kababayan. My fellow Filipinos, we welcome this day with high hopes of finally ending the COVID-19 pandemic in our country. Today, we make another step towards in our going fight against COVID-19 as we receive 600,000 coronavac doses from the Philippines, from the People's Republic of China. I convey my sincere gratitude to the Chinese people and the government of China for this gesture 
of friendship and solidarity, the hallmark of Philippine-China partnership. I also thank Secretary Galvez and Team Filipinas for working very, very hard. And I would like to personally thank Ambassador Wang Silian for helping ensure the timely delivery of this donation. I said it before and I will say it again. COVID-19 vaccines should be treated as a global public good and made available to all, rich and poor alike. No nation, no people should be left to suffer the ravages of this pandemic for whatever reason. Comprehensive global recovery hinges on the equal and easy access by everyone to life-saving vaccines. Because at the end of the day, it has repeatedly said, no one is safe until everyone is safe. Countries must therefore continue working together and do everything humanly possible to ensure a good outcome of every person. With this very important shipment, I am confident that more batches of vaccines will be available with great dispatch until every Filipino will be given the chance to be vaccinated at the earliest possible opportunity. I wish to assure the public that your government remains committed to a timely rollout that will enable us to confidently reopen our society. The delivery of this first batch, I hope, will serve as a guarantee to everyone that we are taking a big step in our efforts to overcome this health crisis. The delivery of this first batch, I hope, will serve as a guarantee to everyone that we are taking a big step in our efforts to overcome this health crisis. As we prepare for the distribution of these vaccines, I am directing all concerned agencies to institutionalize the whole of government approach in its rollout. I cannot stress enough, we cannot afford to waste time or resources in the distribution of these vaccines because we are dealing with precious lives. To dear medical frontliners, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you for your valuable and selfless contribution to the fight against COVID-19. We recognize the profound sacrifices you continue to make every single day, even at the cost of being away from your loved ones and risking your precious lives just so to take care of the sick. As I have mentioned before, I assure you that the government will always be by your side, ready to help in any way we can. To my fellow Filipinos, please set your fears aside. These vaccines are backed by science and deliberated on by your expert, Filipino experts. I encourage to get you to get vaccinated at the soonest possible time and be a partner in preventing the further spread of the disease. To those who will be vaccinated, I also urge you to continue practicing health and safety protocols as we await for the final approval of all more vaccines. Remember to wear masks, wash hands and observe social distancing. 
your cooperation here is key and will be undoubted, undoubtedly saves numerous lives and all. With entire nation's support, I am confident that we will claim victory over this pandemic. Panahon ngayon para magbayanian. Let us demonstrate unity in our shared task of nation building. And earlier, healthier society of every Filipino. Before I end, I would like to just add that uh, China has donated several vaccines to several countries. But it, it is only the donation made to the Philippines that was carried by a Chinese government grade. Yung iba kinukuha doon sa China, dito hinatid sa atin. Maraming salamat po. Mr. Ambassador, I'd like to just say that uh, towards the, maybe at the end of the year, when everything has settled down, I intend to make a short visit to China to just shake hands with uh, President Xi Jinping and to personally thank him for this donation. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We are very honored to have you lead us in witnessing the arrival of the anti-COVID-19 vaccines, Sinovac, in our country. Again, ladies and gentlemen, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte.